Okay, so cliches. I think we're all used to them with television shows and movies, and the more we watch, I think the more they reappear. Cliche doesn't mean something's good or something's bad, they're just, they are what they are. And when it comes down to character cliches, I think there's two types. I think for one, you have your very obvious cliche, and then you have your very subtle cliche. And what I mean by that, with the very obvious cliche, these are the cliches that you've seen in movies and like the writers did not try to hide it. They did not try to make it subtle. Like this was officially the cool guy, your classic cool guy. This was your your classic nerd. This was your classic bully, you know? Um, and, and the bully is the one I wanna take for example today. Um, so a very obvious cliche with the bully would be something like 17 again. You look at 17 again, you look at the bully, and you're like, yeah, that is the baseline for a bully. Just this mean, dumb jerk, rude, stupid. He's, he's there to be defeated by whoever the protagonist is. You know what I'm saying? Whoever the hero is. And this bully here, he did his job. It was a very obvious cliche, but they didn't really need someone subtle. It was, you know, it was a young teenage movie. It was a fun and dumb movie to watch, and you don't need a very detailed written character and make it subtle like yeah if you need a bully just you ain't gotta work too hard for this type of movie just put an obvious cliche in there it works it works well but then uh when you get into like man a little bit more like profound movies deeper movies like with difficult themes and concepts and the movies that really make you think i think a good example for like a subtle character for the bully take something like inglorious bastards and there's that scene where they're all in the pub so um in this case the bully was the um man the the official that was suspicious of the group that walked into the bar and he sat next to them and with here, like, yeah, he was an obvious obstacle they had to get over. He was one of the bad guys, but he wasn't the bad guy. So he's kind of like this, kind of like a bully character. And what you have is a very subtle bully, though. Like, he's not this jerk. He's not this mean dude. He comes in very suspicious. And this character has so much depth, even though he was only in there for that one scene. So that's like a subtle character cliche. It's like, I don't think... Authors and directors and writers. I don't think we could really escape cliches Your hero is always some type of underdog person or maybe a nerd coming up But there are different ways There's different ranges that you could either make it obvious or very subtle and I think to make it subtle It takes way more work. I always appreciate it You know when it's a good job when that character just pulls you in but when it's an obvious cliche The character kind of does the opposite the character kind of pushes you out the character kind of um, Pushes your interest away from that person so like again with 17 again that bully y you hate that guy You know you hate of course he's a bully and, and you're not I don't think you're supposed to really hate um, the bad guys or the bullies, you know, like just like in Glorious, even though he was a bad guy, I liked him. He's one of my favorite characters in that film. You know, you could kind of tell with the obvious cliches, there wasn't much work put into him. You know, anyone can make that character. They just kind of said like, yeah, let's just copy every other bully from every other movie and just put that in this film and not mix it up, not do anything with it, just keep them the same. So my uh, main problem is not when I see an obvious cliche character in a kind of just a young and dumb film, but when I see an obvious cliche character in a film, that's supposed to be deep, a profound deep, the movies that make you think, the dark themed movies, um, something like that. So my example here is with Joker. Just to let y'all know, like I really like the film, I still like the film, but there's just this one scene in there where I feel like they sacrificed the, the, the work and the detail and the concepts and the themes of the film, but it was in the train and it's like gonna be Joker's first kill. It's gonna be the thing that makes Joker snap. And what you have with there's three bullies on there. And right on the train, um, right in the beginning of the scene, like you hate these guys, the way they're talking to that girl, and then the way they approach um, Arthur, and then how they beat him up for no reason. That right there, I thought it was just a very, very obvious cliche. But what was that obvious character doing there in this type of film because again with subtle cliche characters there was more work 
put into them. You know, there's more detail, attention to detail. There was a lot of work. You had to have very talented actors for 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 these subtle characters. But with these guys, it was just again, they just kind of copied every bully movie and just said, yeah, let's just use them. And I just feel like it's a cop out. To me, I didn't I didn't do, I didn't do too much uh, looking into it. But to me, it was just kind of a lazy way. Like, hey, we need Arthur. We need Joker to kill his first people. Who is it gonna be? And but but we have to make it. We have to make it morally ambiguous. We can't make him too evil, but we can't make him too much of a hero. So, you know, what are we going to do? I feel like they were just like, hey, let's just have some mean bullies in there because everyone wants to kill m mean bullies. And that's it. That didn't take too much time. I just feel like it was lazily written. Some other options they could have done. I, I'm not too sure. You know, I ain't no pro on this, but just some ideas is something... Again, a little bit more morally ambiguous. Something that kind of makes you uneasy. Yes, the the spoiler alert, the kills that Joker did after, they were all morally ambiguous. Actually, all pretty much evil. But with the bullies, it was kind of like as if he was a hero. Like, he was, might have just been a hero. Like, everyone wanted to kill those guys. It was the obvious thing, and it was, it was very predictable. But I think it should have been something a little bit more morally ambiguous. Someone a little bit more innocent than those bullies. I think something that they could have used that... that that was a great concept in the film was the way he sees life is off and the way that he saw his girlfriend that he actually never had a girlfriend the whole time and that was a crazy crazy twist um and i i wish they made that more evident within the scene on the bus because i feel like they really could have used that like maybe those guys weren't being jerks at all maybe they were just being super nice or or whatever and they weren't messing with him and all of a sudden so yeah anyways i just wish I just wish, um, yeah, with Joker, they had a little bit more of a subtle part there. A little bit more of a subtle character um, with those bullies. Uh, something that makes you question a, a way more of a gray area. Because, I mean, who wasn't glad when he killed them? You know what I'm saying? Who, who, um... Who is really wrestling within their hearts like, man, he killed those guys. It's, that was a hard thing to watch. No, I think that was a very easy thing to watch for a lot of us. Like, I'm pretty sure a lot of people were cheering at that point. But, you know, when, when, when he got to his mom or when he got to his coworkers, like, those things, like, really, really made you feel uneasy. Which I feel like that should have been for his first, first kill. Anyways, um... I think the point is just like, man, if you're having a deep film, have deep characters. If you're having a very detailed film, profound film that explores deep themes, you should have characters who have deep themes. Um, and then if you have a, just a very shallow movie where it's just fun and just you want things spelled out and obvious, then go ahead and have those obvious, easy, easy characters. But just don't mix them up, you know. If you're if you, if you have a very obvious cliche character in a very deep theme film, I think that's really gonna it kind it's gonna kind of like stick out like a sore thumb. So, anyways, hey, thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next video. Peace. How about another joke, Murray? No, I think we've had enough of your jokes. What do you get? I don't think so. When you cross I think a mentally ill with loner with a it. society that abandons him and beats him like trash. Call the police. I'll Gene. tell you what you get. Call the police. You get what you fucking deserve. <laughs> <laughs>